Robert Paul Wolf is most likely to agree with which of the following statements. The reference to Robert Paul Wolf is here in the third paragraph and also in the fourth paragraph because it is stated here. This should be stated rather differently than Wolf does. So we see that the key aspect is the argument of duality, such duality called by Robert Paul Wolf, the double nature of representation means that the forms and sensible qualities that are the content of perception are taken by us to belong both to the external objects that are known by means of them and to ourselves, which are the ontological substrate for their existence as the content, contents of perception. We see that the content of perception is a key aspect. It is repeated once. And perception differs in the aspect of duality or the double nature of representation in the way that it belongs to both the external objects that are known by their own means and to ourselves, which is our perception of these things. So to the ontological substrate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We have defined how we don't necessarily know the meaning of the word ontological is it is not required at all so the key aspects are duality or the double nature of representation in perception of things option a says we observe the room in which we are sitting the room must still exist in the same way that we exist so we realize that these references are outside of the of the premise of the passage so this is an inferential question we have to find a we have to find an example. This is a perfect example kind of question. This option is not a very good one. We observe the room in which we are sitting, the room in which we are sitting at the moment. The room must exist in the same way that we exist. So we exist, and in the same way, the room must exist. This is, a, this is an example of deduction. It does not have any aspect of duality or double nature of representation. So this is clearly irrelevant. Hence, A is eliminated. Option B says, when we watch an actor on the news, we recognize them because we had seen them playing their roles in cinema. Again, this is the same subject and actor in different contexts, the news and in cinema, in roles in cinema. But the subject remains the same. We don't see any dual aspect or duality or duality of perception. Even if we, see, if we say perception, we, we talk about recognition, not perception. We've seen them in one place. And so when we see them in another place or in another medium, we recognize them. So this doesn't directly connect with the aspect of duality. Not a very good option. B is eliminated. Option C tells us when we see a tree, we see a certain perception of a blown shape. When we touch it, we get a perception of pressure against our palm. This is perfect because it talks about two different aspects. When we see a tree, we see a certain perception. There's a different perception, a perception of pressure against our palm when we touch it. When we touch it, we have made physical contact, which can be said to be the quality of the external object known by the means of them or by its own means. And then the other one, which is when we see a tree, we see a blown shape. That is ourselves, which are the ontological substrate for their existence as the contents of perception. On our own understanding, our own perception, without interacting with the object, which is in this case, a tree. So this actually gives us dual nature of representation or dual aspects of perception, two different perceptions when we see it, when we see the tree and when we touch it. So this is quite a good example of the aspects mentioned by Robert Paul Wolf. C can be qualified. Option D says, it is, an it is only an illusion that we see a bird flying in the, in the sky. We have one subject a bird flying in the sky and the vision of that is called an illusion there's no aspect of duality there are no two subjects even if there were one subject two different um, per uh, perceptions of that subject would bring us close to the premise of the argument that we are looking for there's no such thing in this option so d is also eliminated 
The correct answer is option C.